Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Bloom. This is the Benjamin Bloom Football Show and, well, we can pause for breath. Game week 44 is over, spread over Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, right at the sharp end of the season. All the big issues closer to being sorted now and it was a very tense, very nervous but fascinating game week where the narrative just passed from day to day. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Um, this is the Game Week 44 review. Um, let me know what you think. We're going to go through game by game as ever in the comments and have a think particularly about your goal of the Game Week and your performance of the Game Week. Um, apologies, we're not live. Um, this is a pre-record, obviously. Uh, just the turnaround at the moment uh, makes it impossible to uh, do stuff every night at times when people will be watching. So this will be going out uh, Friday morning. Then I'll have to get straight working onto the preview for game week 45 as the games just continue. Um, the first one tonight at half past five. We're just about managing to keep up. A um, lot of hard work. And if you do want to support my work here on the channel, you can do via the Super Chat feature. Hit the dollar button there. You can subscribe on Patreon or for completely no money whatsoever, you can like and comment on this video or even better, hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel and get us closer to 10,000. I can change that picture behind there. That's been on 5,000 for a while now. Um, right, we are going to go through game by game. Game week 44, we're reading from the bottom upwards um, as that's Tuesday, Sheffield Wednesday nil. Huddersfield nil, Millwall one, Blackburn nil, big result for Millwall. Luton one, QPR one, close to being a big result for Luton. Cardiff two, Derby one, key in the playoff race there. Wigan eight, Hull nil. I'll say no more. Reading one, Borough two, big result for Borough. They look safe. Uh, West Brom nil, Fulham nil at the top of the table. Neither the team wanting to lose. But by definition, neither team winning there. There began the tension at the start of the week. Um, I'm going to keep going upwards. Forest two, Swansea two. Uh, big for Forest not to lose that in the playoff race there. Birmingham one, Charlton one. Killer late goal against Charlton there. Bristol City one, Stoke one. Does that put paid to Bristol City's playoff aspirations under Dean Holden? Brentford one, Preston nil. The incredible Brentford chase continues. This would have been done weeks ago without their amazing form. And on Thursday night, so close, they can almost feel it. Leeds United won Barnsley nil. And that is where we will start. And look at that. Um, a reverse Bielsa under Leeds there. We've seen a lot of times Leeds going under in games where they've dominated. Look at that. Leeds winning this one via an own goal and losing on the XG. Leeds just getting the job done in this one. Um, they look tired. They look frazzled. They look under pressure, but they did the job. Just win. That's all you need to do at this point. And they did just that. But, oh, if Barnsley had had their shooting boots on, this could have been very, very different. There is Jacob Brown. What a great position. Just flashes that across the face. But look at that there. Anderson from the corner, six yards out, or seven, eight yards out, as you can see, um, heads that one wide with the goal gaping and nobody on the post. And then, of course, Bamford down the other end, you can see on the right-hand side of the pitch there, crosses it in. Sol Bauer gets his feet all wrong, and that ball is heading into the back of the net for an own goal, the only goal of the game. Uh, Bielsa's chasing the second half, but Barnsley keep coming. Connor Chaplin in the box there, bouncy shot. That's going to go no more than a foot wide of Meslier's left post. And then one more, Styles there, breakaway after Ayling gives the ball away. That shot's going to fly just wide of the post. Look at Corley Woodrow on the right-hand side of the picture. An easy slip in, he's onside. Look at Connor Chaplin. Um, well, it could have been a lot different, but shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, Leeds get the win. That's why Leeds are top of the league and Barnsley are bottom. Leeds getting the job done. 
They're so close. We'll go through the permutations at the end of the video. Could be done tonight. Could be done on Saturday. Could be done on Sunday. Either way, Leeds need one point or one result to go for them. And they are promoted. Barnsley in trouble. We'll look at the tables at the end. Uh, the tension ramped up there on Tuesday night, the very first game of the game week. And for the automatic race to open up, we needed West Brom to drop points, and they did. It was nil-nil. It was very cagey. Uh, there was a big chance for Dean Garner in that game for West Brom. Knockout hitting the bar. Not the greatest game we've seen, but look, the tension and the stakes really get into everybody. Again, we'll do the tables at the end. Uh, West Brom's destiny still in their own hands. Fulham settling for playoffs. Now... Brentford kept up the chase then on Wednesday night. And look, you can see how tight this one was. A fourth-minute goal, only 0.7 playing 0.62 on the XG there. That's the eighth straight win for Brentford. Outstanding run from them. There is Ollie Watkins. Uh, Mark Ondes have played him in nicely. He goes for power and speed. Early shot there. It's going to go right through Rudd on four minutes. Um, Preston didn't roll over and die in this one, the closest they came there is Darnell Fisher. Great free kick there, flying in the corner. Uh, David Raya, big save there. Brentford get the win. Preston's playoffs done. We'll look at the table at the end. Uh, Forest 2, Swansea 2. That was on Wednesday, as you can see. And a Swansea win in this one. Uh, they were up for 12 minutes and then another 10 minutes. So some percentage of the game they were winning uh, twice in this one and Forrest would have been looking over their shoulders if they'd let them away with those three points as ever look Forrest 0.42 on the XG still getting two goals they have been ruthless and so has Rian Brewster at the moment um, when you're thinking about your goal of the game week um, have have a think about that one a brilliant brilliant first time strike by Brewster on the left foot that's flying in the top corner before Bruce Samba can even see it um, and have a think about Sammy Amiobi. Look at there. Perfect technique. Leaning back on the right foot. That's going in the top corner um, to uh, Woodman's left there. Um, great strike by Amiobi. Um, bit of a controversial one here. There is the challenge by Ryan Yates on Andre Ayew. Um, you can't see Ayew's foot in there. But given that Yates's foot is blocking the line, you would think if that foot was in or over the line, um, you'd be able to see it. Oh, difficult one. I'd have to read my law book. If, if the foot is on the line, I assume that's a penalty. Um, it looked a harsh one. Um, let's just say an AU sticks the penalty in uh, for 2-1. Um, Amiobi, another great goal. Look, uh, big distance outside the box, not conceding any big chances really in this game. But Amiobi, great individual performance from him. That is going into the corner to the keeper's left for 2 2. Um, there is Kyle Norton getting a red card for a foul on Mighton as well. So that one ends 2 2, um, which is better for Forrest than it is for Swansea given the playoff chase. And more bad news for Swansea is that their Welsh rivals, Cardiff, kept up their uh, possession of the sixth place spot at the moment. They won 2-1 against Derby, who will be kicking themselves. Um, there is Junior Hoylet going around uh, Ben Hamer in goal. Um, but he's played in by a very bad back pass by Jason Knight. A big mistake there. Hoylet pouncing on it there. Um, Knight gets his head up, um, doesn't sink after the mistake and gets the equaliser. There he is popping it in there. But then, of all the people, you're not expected to make a mistake. There is Wayne Rooney getting dispossessed. And here is Lee Tomlin punishing him from the edge of the box there with the right foot. We talked about the Leeds game. If Barnsley had had anything like Cardiff's ruthless efficiency in front of goal, um, Things would have been different, and Forest too as well, for that matter. Um, Cardiff holding on to that sixth place again. We'll get to the tables very, very soon. But tucking in, taking advantage of Swansea not winning and Derby losing is Millwall, who had another win. Uh, they're in good form, I think. It might even be something like four wins from five 
from Millwall who are really pushing on nicely and they beat away a direct rival. There is Mason Bennett. Looks like he's in exactly the same position um, that he scored that goal against Swansea from um, doing a good job coming in off the left, um, working well for Gary Rowe at Mason Bennett. A 1-0 victory there. And if buts and maybes, Millwall should have won that game against Swansea, shouldn't they? They would be very, very close, if not in to the top six by now. If they had, I'll check my maths on that. Bristol City had done a little chase. Lee Johnson fired Dean Holden, taking over as caretaker. They draw 1-1 here. They could have kept up the chase with a win. Great goal again. Uh, Benkovic, you can see where that one's going. Curls that one perfectly um, in nestling into the side netting great finish with the right foot there but uh danny bart who's in pretty good attacking form you can see they're arriving from the set play close range header you don't save those stoke safe now finally been questioning it forever haven't we and our middlesbrough safe has warnock done the job there i think he just might have liam moore gives reading the lead in this one bundling home from close in you can just see him there virtually on the goal line. Um, great equaliser. I think Ashley Fletcher is quite enjoying playing for Neil Warnock. This um, We know chances get created with this direct style, and there's one indeed. The cross coming in, lovely glance header by Fletcher, who may be looking forward to next season if uh, Colin stays there. Um, and there is Patrick Roberts. Great finish in the corner there from just inside. The box. So uh, Roberts has had a weird season. He was on loan at um, on loan at Norwich, wasn't he? And it didn't work out there. And it looked like it wasn't working out here. But Warnock's recalled him and put him in the team, and he's got the winning goal. Um, no such thing as a winning goal in Sheffield Wednesday versus Huddersfield. Uh, we think the Sheffield Wednesday FFP uh, decision has been made, and we're just waiting to hear on it. But uh, the EFL need to get their act together on that. Huddersfield. Clean sheeting their way to promotion. Can they clean sheet? Leads to promotion tonight by Durham with West Brom. A uh, bad miss, though, there by uh, Fraser Campbell. Putting that one over the top from point blank. But equally, uh, the Cruz there, how does he not put that one in? 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. Luton won. QPR won. Missed chance for Luton there. They had the lead in this one. James Collins. Sticking that one in, sending uh, Lumley the wrong way from the spot. Uh, Dominic Ball backing up an attack nicely there. Um, you can see nice lot of goal for him to aim at there to get the equaliser. And I think that's uh, Dan Potts with the shot there right late on. Look at Lumley across to his right to deny Luton what would have been a vital, vital winning goal. They've done well under Nathan Jones. Are they going to be left to rue too many draws? And another draw that's going to be rude, particularly by Charlton, is this one. Birmingham won, Charlton won. Look there, 93rd minute goal. High on the XG for both teams. Uh, a big reason for that would be that Birmingham missed a penalty in this one. There is Dylan Phillips saving from Scott Hogan and brother. He puts the... Um, Rebound over the top as well. Hogan, bad miss from him. Uh, there is Macaulay Bond waiting to receive an absolute tap in there. Uh, Max Collin not doing himself any favours here. The number five there is playing everybody on side and um, obviously has just been skinned as well. Bond gives Charlton the lead there. Just wanted to show that. That is Aidan McGeady, 14. Look at Lee Camp completely left standing by that shot and that is hitting the post wow what a difference that goal and 2-0 would have made because there is Lukas Jukovic he's just about to poke that one in over the goal line and save Birmingham like he has done many many times before bad result uh, for Charlton given okay take the missed penalty into account but given they were leading uh into stoppage time there, disappointing. They could have really made their lives a lot easier there. And just for some complete insanity here, and for you XG fans as well, Wigan 8, Hull nil 
from 1.79 xg ruthless display of finishing from wigan um against relegation rivals Hull. what will that do for wigan's confidence uh against what will that do for hull's confidence wow let's do this quickly naismith heads in uh Kiefer moore on the spin there number nine with the right foot two nil dowell three nil i think does that is that the one that gets the deflection i think possibly uh jamal Lowe in there um where are we now four nil it's gonna be seven by half time Kiefer moore diving header five nil Kieran Dell, no, that's the one that gets deflected. So many goals in this game. Dell's going to get a hat trick. Six nil, am I keeping count? And half time, Williams, right foot outside the box. Seven nil, the best one saved for the second half. This is brilliant. That's Kieran Dell arriving on the run, outswinging cross from the right hand side. He's going to hit that with a kind of cushion volley with the left foot um, first time. And look where it's going to go in. You don't save those, do you? Brilliant stuff from Wigan. 8-0, killer result for Hull as well. Remember that Titanic game, Luton v Hull coming up. But don't worry about that because we'll do the preview show later on today. So what does that mean? There is the league table. Um, we go in for transfer marks um, league table at the moment um, purely because they've deducted the 12 points from Wigan already, which makes things a lot easier for us to read. Let me remove my graphic at the top there and you will see Leeds United one point from promotion. They're basically there now, 87, um, one point away from an unassailable lead and promotion. Also, if West Brom don't win tonight or Brentford don't win on Saturday, Leeds are up in terms of that second place chase, though it is still on big style. If West Brom draw tonight, or lose, Brentford can overtake them on Saturday. We'll see if Brentford can keep up their incredible pace. Definitely not over yet. West Brom, however, do have their destiny in their own hands. Uh, Fulham could still make the top two. It would take um, a double defeat there, um, really, in both games for both teams for that to realistically happen. I suppose Brentford could draw one, couldn't they? But Fulham looking like they're going to be in the fourth versus fifth playoff as it stands. Uh, so do Forest, but they're still only three points above Cardiff. So that position could change in terms of them dropping out the playoffs. Uh, the maximum upside from the chasers now with Millwall is 71. So Forest just need a couple more points. They're probably one given the goal difference, but we think Fulham Forest is looking like the first nailed on playoff. There. Will it be Brentford Cardiff or will it be um, West Brom Cardiff even? Or will it be Millwall slipping in there? Swansea can still do it as well. Um, Cardiff, they're destined in their own hand. Two points get. We'll look at the fixtures coming up in the previous show later. Um, in terms of teams that now don't look like making the playoffs, well, Preston and Bristol City can still mathematically do it. But come on, five point get with two to go. Derby, Blackburn. They are out of it. They are on the beach. Season over, I think. But job well done, I think, by Tony Mowbray at Blackburn. And in the end, I think job well done by Philippe Koku. Um, it was going to be a tough one there. Remember, uh, Mount, Tamori and Wilson all going. Most of the playoff team gone. And he's brought the youngsters in. Keep an eye on them next season. Uh, in the bottom half, on the beach, uh, Reading, oh sorry, I've taken a screenshot uh, obviously hovering over Sheffield Wednesday there but hopefully you can still read that table fine, uh, Reading, Sheffield Wednesday on the beach, QPR well I say Sheffield Wednesday on the beach depending on an FFP here and they are 11 points off the relegation zone, a 12 point deduction drops them in there, obviously doesn't it um, we're now looking at it now where I think really those 50 point teams, Stoke Borough and Birmingham, I think they're safe, aren't they? Um, can we really see, um, well, one, two, three, four teams, um, including the bottom relegation place, overtaking any of those teams? Not sure we can, especially given Charlton Wigan play each other and Hull Luton play each other. Um, Huddersfield, well, they've got West Brom to come. 
haven't they? Um, but a three-point gap and the way they've defended, they're looking okay. Then it really opens up. Charlton play Wigan in the next game and Hull play Luton. Absolutely massive games there. Um, if you're a Barnsley fan and all of those are drawn, can you slip by them with a win in your next game? Away at Forest, I think. Um, so anything can still happen there, but it looks like the bottom five um, and maybe Huddersfield are safe. Maybe not. I don't know. It's the championship, but big games this weekend. Again, we'll get to that in the preview. There are your top players. Ollie Watkins has finally got ahead of Mitrovic now. 25 goals for him. And if Brentford do finish in the playoffs, possibly another five games. Can he reach the magic 30? Uh, Timu Puki got stuck on 29 last season, didn't he? Couldn't, couldn't reach that magical number. Um, any other goal scorers there? Uh, Jukovic did score this game. We can say did AU. They both move on to 15 goals for the season. Um, I think we had a mover, possibly Tomlin, into the assist league there down the bottom. But otherwise, um, as you were with a lot of those other figures. Um, let's have a little think about um, performance or goal of the week. Performance of the week. I mean, surely it's uh, Wigan 8, Hull nil, especially given the overarching, you know, business going on there. But a few good ones there, but I can't look past that, especially with a 1.7 XG scoring eight goals. Sensational from Wigan. Uh, goal of the week, Brewster, Dowell, Benkovic, Amiobi. Um, I really want to give it to Dowell. Can we give Wigan both awards? I think we'd better, haven't we, there? Um, I'm sure they won't care, but um, yeah, I think Wigan for both performance of the week and goal of the week. Okay, thank you so much for watching. That was the Game Week 44 review. Uh, check out later today. My God, I've got to go to the bank and do some work in the garage um, and then think about getting a job as well. Um, but we'll try and get the Game Week 45 preview, particularly as it pertains to the relegation picture, all done hopefully by early afternoon. So do tune in and check that out. As it says down the bottom, your support has been amazing. I'm trying to make this part of my living now. And the support's been great, especially via the Super Chat feature. Uh, just hit the dollar button where you leave your comments in the live chat, not the normal comments. Subscribe on Patreon as well. A lot of kind people have done that. I think we're pushing 30 subscribers now, which is brilliant. Um, for absolutely no money whatsoever, helping me out, hit the like button. Leave a comment. That all helps drive more people to the video and put it up the YouTube rankings. And please do. Look, I'm, I'm begging. That's not cool, is it? Um, subscribe to the channel. We are closing in on 10,000. I think if I pull my phone up now, I can tell you the exact number of subscribers we've got on the channel. 9,884. I'd love to reach 10,000 by the end of the season. Help me out to do that and just generally get your comments in on game week 44. It was a tense one. It was a brilliant one, wasn't it? The championship never lets you down. Thank you for watching. Uh, follow on Twitter at Benjamin Bloom on Instagram, although Twitter is more populated with stuff. And I'll see you later on today for the game week 45 review, the um, Huddersfield West Brom coverage that will be tonight and live stream uh, before, during and after that game. And possibly we could be getting a Leeds United promotion party tonight. Wait and see. Over and out.